Hello from the London Stadium and the weather gods have been kind to us. It's a sunny day in this part of the English capital. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's West Ham United facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3 4 3 formation, but without wing backs. So although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. And so they starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the focal point on attack is Gabriel Jesus. And now they get the ball rolling. Lanzini. In possession, Bowen. Under real pressure defensively. Will they pay the price? A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. He's driven in the corner. And he's clear his lines. Lanzini. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Presswell. Zuma. A wonderful intervention. Rodri. De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Well, we have to say, Stuart, respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year. So many attributes. What are you looking for from him in this game? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Alert defending. Foden Joao Cancelo De Bruyne now and it's Gabriel Jesus Joao Cancelo very comfortable when in possession no way through he must finish Kevin De Bruyne with the goal Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, the action underway once again. And the onus is on West Ham to find a response now.
excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Foden. De Bruyne. And back with Rodri. And a strong tackle. Vladimir Kuval. He's going forward well here. For Niles. And a harmless cross gobbled up. Kevin De Bruyne. Laporte. Bernardo Silva. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Well, not the best clearance. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. There's to win it back. Foden. It's with Joao Cancelo. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Top class defending. Vladimir Kufal. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with... And a goal it is! They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Do this again. This is counter attacking football at its very best, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Not messing around with that clearance. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Can they find a gap in the defence? Gabriel Jesus. Here's Bernardo Silva. And the flag has gone up. Well, he has to work a lot harder to stay onside there. He didn't read the situation at all. Lanzini, Said Benrama, Rice with it, Fredericks, Lanzini, can he do it? Terrific piece of anticipation. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. And over comes the corner. Taking care of business defensively here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, many will regard him as the complete midfield player, Kevin De Bruyne. And how do you shackle him? It's well-nigh impossible, Stuart. Well, you won't see too many better performances than this. He's been an absolute menace to these defenders today. And, of course, he's taken his goals really well. So, off and running again, and there was a real golf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from West Ham in the second? And play halted, free kick given. 
And the referee deciding to admonish him, but not book him. I think that's good refereeing. It's a foul, but no more than that. And he's clear as lines. Pablo Fornals. And an astute piece of defending. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not all that convincing defensively. Edison was always likely to catch that one. Kevin De Bruyne. On to Jesus. And he takes it on. And keeping it out. Let's see about the delivery. Going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Eccentric goalkeeping. Perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle. And it's Gabriel Jesus using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. For Niles. Vladimir Kuval. The cross is on. And he read it superbly. The Hammers come away with it. Noble. Could be troublesome. Well, in some style, Edison prevents a goal. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Number nine, Mikel Antonio. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch. Number 47, Phil Fondon. Playing it in. Well, it has come to nothing. Cresswell. Lanzini. No ball. Can he get one back? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Rodri. The ball with Rodri. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. And he's in. And a fantastic diving save. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Short corner favoured. Strong play here. Gabriel Jesus and pull back. And a body in the way.
for Niles. Kufal on the ball. Ball with Pablo for Niles. Vladimir Kufal. Can he make a count? And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So, moving once more, and West Ham make no mistake, right back in this contest now. Kevin De Bruyne, promising attack this. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Well, let's see an attacking position. It's not too late for them. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Gundogan. De Bruyne now. Oh, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Kevin De Bruyne. And space for the cross. De Bruyne. Mares. Is it going to be? And an astute piece of defending. Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Good tackle. It'll be a throw. So a personnel change then. Ben Rama. Can he play it in? Rice. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Making sure it didn't get past him. Rice. And taking it away. Rodri. Gundogan. Sterling has it. That's excellent defending following the cross. Joao Cancelo. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. And there goes the final whistle. An altogether frustrating experience for West Ham and their supporters. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. And it's no accident that the cameras are zooming in, as they often do, on Kevin De Bruyne. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.